Welcome back. In this particular episode, we're going to look at a video that highlights the need to be deliberate. And the reason why I say that is because the video is composed of four confessions. And I want you to listen to these confessions carefully to see why I'm asking each and every one of you to be deliberate in what you choose to do. Let's get into the video. Somebody else, and I still took him back after I had my baby. Yeah! So now, can you see why it is that I'm encouraging everyone to be deliberate? Let's go case by case. In the first case, there was a young lady who got involved uh, with a young man, and after they were involved physically, he left her had to go back to his previous partner. And then the next one, uh, this young lady decided that she was going to get involved with the gentleman who was incarcerated. He was in prison. And when he got out, uh, he decided that he no longer wanted to deal with that young lady. The next one found herself involved with a gentleman who already had two baby mothers. Now don't get me wrong. I hate to use that term baby mama because uh, I just don't agree with it. I don't agree with the picture that it paints, but those are the words that she used. So we'll use the same words. Okay. And then last but not least is a young lady who uh, became pregnant by a gentleman. And that gentleman left her uh, to be with another woman that was pregnant. And then uh, after this particular lady had her child, then the father was allowed to come back. Can you see why it is that I'm asking that we be more intentional and deliberate and thoughtful about the things that we do? If you look at all four of the young ladies in this particular circumstance, there's one thing that stands out. They were not intentional about what they were doing. And when I say intentional, I mean, they didn't think about what it was that they needed to do. They didn't think about how, what they uh, chose to do would affect their future. And so now you see that there's a need to confess some things, to get some things off their chest. So I think uh, the majority of this particular conversation is uh, perhaps pushed forward by the use of alcohol, Hennessy in this particular case. I think that these young ladies had a moment of clarity and I'm hoping that they did as they reveal some of the darkest secrets that they had or some of the things that they were dealing with that were very, very difficult. But now, despite the fact that this is something that they were having to deal with, I would say that it's necessary to uh, look at each one of the four as a cautionary tale. And why do we say that? Because if you're not intentional, if you're not determined to look at things from a way that can benefit you in the future, it may be a situation where you end up like one of the four. And of all of the four that are there, I think the most troubling to me being a father myself is the last young lady. Getting involved with someone, bringing a child into this world, having that individual leave for someone else that's uh, uh, pregnant and then come back after the child is born. To me, that particular story is horrific because you understand I have a young daughter that I'm raising and I wouldn't want my daughter to have to go through the difficulties that any of the four had to go to, but especially the last one because uh, the actions of the man that she's involved with did not paint a good picture for him. But then at the same time, I like to think that the old saying is true. You are what you attract. So it's necessary for all four of these young ladies in order to turn things around for them to have a better future. They need to be introspective. And if you find yourself in a situation similar to theirs, you need to be introspective. You need to look inside yourself and see, what is it that is attracting these kind of people into my life? 
uh, people that don't add any value, people that don't bring anything to the table, people that can't make your life better. What is it inside of you that's attracting these individuals? And whatever that is, you need to find it. You need to isolate it. You need to tear it out so that it doesn't continue to torment you in the future. Because I think that this is a really serious situation. Even though they clapped after each one made their confession, this is very serious. It's nothing to be taken lightly. Especially as I mentioned the fourth young lady, because now you're involving the life of someone else, an innocent child. You're bringing an innocent child into a situation that could be detrimental for him. If the two of you all don't get yourselves together. There's a certain responsibility that comes with raising children. There's a certain responsibility that comes with looking at the future and trying to build something instead of just allowing yourself to be haphazard about whatever comes along. This is not something that we can condone. This is not something that needs to continue either. Because when you live life in that way, then that means that you don't have to plan. That means that you don't have to be intentional. Well, um, being unintentional is what got these young ladies in the situation that they're in in the first place. So why not be open to taking charge of your own life and trying to decide what things will happen to you in the future based upon positive things that you're doing right now? No, those are particularly young ladies. Uh, they haven't been intentional. They haven't thought these things through and the, the results of it are proof that they haven't. So I think that it's necessary, not just for them, but for all of us to uh, be introspective, look at things uh, that we are doing right now and really be focused on doing things that will help us to have a positive future. I hope that the four young ladies uh, are able to rally themselves and get back on the right course so that uh, their lives are a reflection of something that's good. But And if they don't, then they can only expect more of, more of the same kind of things to happen. There's going to be more difficulty, more pain, more frustration in the future. And it'll be because of the decisions that they made uh, without regard for looking at the future. So those are my thoughts. I guess I don't have to do <laughs> final thoughts on this particular video, do I? Because I think I made myself abundantly clear as to how I feel. Please, young ladies, please be intentional about what you do. Young men, be intentional about what you do so that when you look back on the things that you chose to do, uh, there'll be nothing but pride in the fact that you chose to do the right thing to have a better future. All right, those are my thoughts on the video. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe. Be easy.